100 shares of Tesla right now would cost you $25,624 or £20,290. But how much could those 100 shares be in just seven years? in 2030. In a recent video, which I'll link on the screen now, I spoke about three different price predictions for Tesla stock in 2030. And these were a $2,500 bear case for Tesla stock shares by 2030. The expected case was $8,000 and the bull case, which seems absolutely wild and crazy, was $22,000 per share by 2030. These weren't my personal predictions for Tesla stock in the upcoming years. Instead, they were an accumulation of ones that I found online. The $2,500 per share by 2030, which is our bear case, was actually from ARK Invests. Now they predicted that Tesla stock would reach $2,500 as a really, really bullish case for 2027. So we took that and we made it our bear case for 2030. $8,000 was the average of lots and lots of different price predictions. So that became our expected target for 2030. And then we have the $22,000 per share by 2030 price prediction, which I know is crazy. And I've seen a lot of comments on the last video with people not really understanding how that could be the case. When you go and look at any company online and look at their stock price, you don't really ever see them that high. They don't really go out of the hundreds, apart from maybe Berkshire Hathaway. But the reason that it would get there is through stock splits. So you wouldn't look at Tesla stock in 2030 and see it literally say 22,000 because it will undergo stock splits. So that's how it would work. But anyway, this has also come from the ARC team. Now there would be different criteria that Tesla would need to meet in order to reach each of these price targets. Clearly they are very different, 2,500, 8,000, 22,000. So obviously Tesla would have to do very different things to get to the 22,000 than they would to reach the lower bear case. So to hit the $2,500 per share by 2030, we are assuming that Tesla continue to sell millions of vehicles. Tesla actually have their own target to sell 20 million vehicles by 2030. But for our bear case of $2.5,000 by 2030, we are actually modeling for them to miss that target and to come in at about 50% of that, but whilst still ramping up production and continuing to cost cut their margins. This also assumes that they begin working towards and building out their robo taxi fleets, but it wouldn't be at scale at this point for this price target. It would be very, very small still. And they would continue to drive the energy sector of their business up much higher than it currently is. It's currently actually doing really well and it's often overlooked. So definitely look into that if you're a Tesla investor. Um, and they would also get more and more and more companies to adopt their supercharging network as we've already been seeing happening. Now, when the robo taxi fleet with FSD, full self-driving, gets fully up and running, it may actually happen later than people are predicting because with FSD and the robo taxi fleet in general, there are so many regulatory barriers that have to be crossed and regulatory barriers across many different continents and countries and they'll all be very different so I think from a regulation perspective it's actually going to be really really tough but I still think it's just a matter of when rather than if. The expected price of $8,000 per share by 2030 will be if they actually hit their goal of 20 million vehicles but perhaps they come in a little bit late so perhaps they do it by 2031, 2032, 2033 but the point is people are able to see them getting nearer and nearer to that target. So they know that they're still selling millions and millions and millions of vehicles, which of course puts confidence in the investor and puts money into the stock. And like before, they will continue to improve their margins. And I'm not just talking about the margins across their vehicles, I'm talking about the business in its entirety across all the different things that Tesla does. They will have the Cybertruck that will be performing very, very well and getting a lot of orders in. And that should be more of an issue with supply versus demand rather than the other way around. Again, they will have more cars using their charging network and they will have a cheaper model available. That $25,000 hatchback that we've been hearing rumors about for a long time now, that will be out and on sale. FSD will be fully there for our expected price prediction of $8,000 and the robo taxi fleet will be starting to take place. It won't be fully scaled for this price prediction, 
but it will be netting Tesla way more revenue. Now, lastly, we will have the Tesla bot actually exist in a useful form. Optimus, if, if some of you guys have heard of that word, the Tesla bot. And it will be working in factories doing really intensive labor, high risk work, but it won't be really useful anywhere else, just primarily in the Tesla factories. And perhaps it will start going out to a few other companies' factories, but not at scale. And also I can't forget, this also assumes that the energy sector is continuing to grow at a decent rate. And now we move on to the $22,000 per share by 2030 bullish prediction. This would need Tesla to have an enormous, a massive, massive robo taxi fleet, a fleet at scale, and they would be licensing FSD and everything else that we've just discussed for the other two models as well, including growing the energy business. We can't forget about that one. They would also have the Tesla bot being sold globally to lots and lots of companies and maybe even starting to introduce it into the home. And I encourage anyone that's interested in Tesla or investing into Tesla to think about what this bot could actually do. If you think about it, this could be really, really big, right? Because this is essentially something that can work way more than any human. It doesn't need toilet breaks. It doesn't need lunch breaks. It doesn't need to go home at the end of the day. It doesn't need to take vacation every year. It can literally just keep going apart from the fact that it will need charging, but this could just be a battery replacement or it could be just letting it charge for a while and putting another one in its place whilst whilst it charges. It's going to completely change the way that labor especially is being carried out, but eventually a lot of things. And if there's companies that are able to use these bots to do work, they will save so much time and money because this bot is not meant to be really, really expensive. It's meant to cost quite a little amount of money really compared to how much you would play, pay um, one employee. So the risk versus reward would be quite high for, uh, for companies. And I think it would be a real competitive edge. And I just think it's gonna be an absolutely massive thing, completely change the way things are currently done. Right, so anyway, currently, as of today, one share of Tesla is $256.24. This means that if you were to purchase 100 shares of Tesla in one effort just today, it would cost you $25,624. But how much could 100 shares of Tesla stock be worth in 2030 according to our three different price predictions? And they're just predictions, right? No one knows what the actual price of Tesla will be even tomorrow let alone in 2030. So this is not financial advice. I am not saying that I know what the stock price is. I don't, it's purely for fun. And these are other price predictions that other people have made online that I'm bringing into this video to model out just to see what could potentially happen. Let's have a look at this table I made. With the price prediction, our bearish price prediction of 2.5K per share, 100 shares today, like we said, would cost you $25,624. But in 2030, according to this model, 100 shares would be worth $250,000. So that means a percentage increase of 875.6%, which is crazy. Like that's really high. And we'll get onto that in just a minute. Moving on to our expected case of $8,000. Again, 100 shares is gonna cost you exactly the same. That's your money spent today. In 2030, according to this model, those 100 shares would be worth $800,000. And that equates to a percentage increase of 3,022, which again is just crazy. Moving on to the even crazier price prediction, our bullish case of $22,000 per share. Like I said, this would be if the stock undergoes a few splits, still cost you exactly the same amount. But this time in 2030, those 100 shares, 2.2 million dollars, which is a percentage increase of 8,485. Insane. Right. What I need to say about this is firstly, this is with many, many catalysts falling into place. We don't know if those catalysts are going to happen, right? That's the first thing. Second thing is we don't know when they're going to happen. Could not happen before 2030. Who knows? Next thing is do those catalysts push the stock price up as much as these estimations are thinking that it will? Who knows? You see, it's all up in the air. Come up with your own price predictions because what that does is it helps you stay convicted into a stock. It helps you build your conviction, which will then help you buy when the stock price dips. That's what it's all about. These price prediction models are not about knowing. It's about putting all your research together, 
coming up with what you think is a fair valuation based on certain things happening and then using that as like your shining light, your guide to keep you uh, convicted, whatever. This also, this um, model also doesn't account for any taxes that you would have to pay on the profits or any costs that the actual investment takes up. So any transaction costs, FX fees, things like that. So for our bear case, the percentage increase would be 875.6%, which is quite crazy because that is over a seven year period and it would mean that Tesla would have to be netting about 125% on average per year. And we know that the S&P 500, for example, returns an investor about 10% on average per year. But let's just look at past data here and see if we believe it's even reasonable. So this is real data. This actually happened. This shows the annual return per year of Tesla stock uh, for each year on the side here and then the opening and closing price and the, uh, the annual return. So if we take the first seven years, because we're looking at a seven year period in the future, so let's just look at seven years in the past and we'll just take the first seven because it makes sense. <laughs> so 2014 to 2021. And you actually add all of these numbers up and divide it by the amount of years, blah, 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 blah. You know how to do an average, I'm sure you get about 125%. So what I'm trying to say is it's not absolutely impossible for Tesla to be reaching numbers like that. They've been doing those sort of numbers before. But of course, what you can see is it's not consistent and it's not stable. This is a volatile growth stock. It's all over the place a lot of the time. Just look at the difference between 2020, which is 743%, crazy numbers. And then you look at 2022, minus 65%. Hence why we're talking about an average per year. You wouldn't just be able to rely on you getting a certain percentage each year for a short space of time because it needs a long period of time to actually average out those returns. Like with an ETF, for example. Now, let me know your Tesla price predictions for 2030 in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in another one very soon.